guys, in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to make these killer gang hooks. Now, I use these for Taylor, but you can pretty much change it up a bit and use them in any situation you want. These are miles ahead of any gang hook you buy from the store. Much better quality, sharper hooks, you'll have 10 times more hookups, and you won't drop fish. Now, just watch the video, guys. I swear to you, this is one thing that you do not want to miss. Alright, so everything should be laid out like this. You'll need a good pair of pliers. You'll need a swivel. You'll need two of these double barrel crimps, just like these ones. Uh, you'll need some of this Lumo tube. This is um, the Jinkai brand. Um, cut it to the size of the bait you're using, so it should look something like that. That's the size of a muley that I'd use. And then with that, cut it into thirds. So have that just set out nicely. Then you'll need some of these 6O Octopus Gamakatsu hooks. You can get away with using 5O's, but prefer these for Taylor. And then you'll need some of this nylon coated wire trace. This one is 100 pounds, but you could go lower. All right, so first of all, what you want to do is you want to grab one of these crimps and thread it down your wire trace, like so, all the way down. Now, we want to bend the end of this. You might need to use your pliers for this. I will. So get your pliers in there. Try to pinch it down as much as you can. This can be a bit tedious. Almost there. Like so. That's pretty pinched down. Now the reason for this is we're going to be threading this through the eyelet of the hook. Now this can be a bit of a pain in the ass sometimes. Oh, went through first go. So it'll look something like this. Now you're going to open this loop up and we're going to put the hook through the loop. It's all fiddly work but it'll be definitely worth it in the end. So that hook is through the loop. Now you're going to pull it. Pull it tight. Make sure you don't stab yourself. I have done that too many times. Now, that's nice and tight like so. Maybe just up a little bit like so look something like that now that crimp slid all the way down here we slide that onto this dog end so you can go all the way up all the way up right against there like so and now we crimp him down so he's secured in in that one spot he can't move use my beefier pliers for this one squeeze really hard sometimes if you don't have really good pliers just keep squeezing from different angles you'll get it to this stage I'd like to bend it up a little bit like so now what we're gonna do is I'm going to cut that dog end not all the way just most of it Pretty leaving about that much like so and now with this trace, 
we're going to snip it about here. Doesn't matter if you like snip it a bit too long. It's better to snip it too long than too short. You can always trim it then. It's all nice and snipped. Now the easy part. So once you've got that sorted, we can thread on our first bit of Lumo tube. And you can go down like so. And that little bit that we left, we can tuck that under the Lumo tube. Like so. So look at that, he's nice and hidden. We can push him up on the crimp a little bit. Like so. Pretty nice and flush. And now all we do is we thread on more hooks. Pretty much the reason I do this is like there used to be a brand called I don't know if it's still around, it's called Gillies, and they make their own gang hooks, and they're pretty much the exact same as these. And they're pretty expensive to buy, but they are worth it. And then I thought to myself, hey, I could make these myself, so here we are today. So we've got two hooks, two bits of Lumo tube. Now we're gonna add another hook. So, third bit of Lumo tube going on, like so. So it looks like that so far. One more hook going on. And at this stage, we can worry about putting our swivel on. So, get another crimp, your second crimp. Put him on, get your swivel, and now we want to bend this last bit around back into that crimp so we can just crimp it all down and then it'll be nice and secure. See, I don't have much of a dog end left, so this saves me a lot of trace. I don't have to waste too much. Just a little bit harder to get it into the hole. But when you first start doing this, give yourself enough room for error. Just make the trace a bit longer than normal. So feed him through. So it's going to require a lot of pushing. Get my pliers on there. And there he went, went right in. So it looks like that so far. Let me get this. Just like that. Now we're gonna crimp him down. So you get your strongest pair of pliers. And squeeze. And I prefer crimps over knots. Crimps hardly ever let go. There's like knots. Especially if you're new to fishing, knots can fail. And look at that. When you have it baited up, all these hooks will be sitting flush against that trace, like so. A bit hard to show on the camera, but like so. This is a really big one. We use big muleys here. So yeah, this hook at the back. If he doesn't, if he comes unlodged from that muley, he will be like sticking out the whole time. He's not gonna like flop down and then miss a hook up. He's gonna be sticking out ready for that tailor like, because they always go swiping for that tail. And yeah, this is usually the one that you hook up on, and they do not come out like. Normal gangs, they throw them, they can actually snap normal gangs. This has too much flexibility. When it thrashes its head, this thing moves with it. So it's not going to get flicked out of its mouth. And yeah, thanks for watching the video guys. Show me some of the fish that you catch and leave a comment if you liked it. Cheers. Alright guys, a couple of things I want to clarify before ending the video. 
is you're not allowed to have more than three hooks on a line, but in the case of a snell rig, whereas there's consecutive hooks in a row just to catch one fish, that rule is pretty much exempt. So you can have a snell with six hooks, eight hooks, if that's your thing, it's not illegal. It's only illegal if you're targeting multiple fish with one rig with over three hooks. So, all right, peace out.